Welcome to uh, the 2018 HHS International Night. We're excited to be here with uh, 24 of our international friends from far-reaching places as far away as, as from China and uh, Germany, Poland and Italy and, and many, many other places, wonderful countries. Uh, tonight's a really great celebration, hard work of Laura Tice, our ambassador. Uh, Hopkinton ambassador leader, uh, one of our foreign language teachers, has worked really hard with our Hopkinton High students to, to welcome our international friends, and Andy Longoria, who recruits the students each year to come. So we have an amazing cohort tonight. We're excited to hear their presentations and performances, and uh, it's really a unique opportunity for the town of Hopkinton to kind of welcome in some people from all over the world, show them how we live our lives, how we treat school and uh, create some friendships that are likely to last for a long, long time. So uh, we're thankful for HCAMP to be here and we're looking forward to a wonderful evening. So this is French Club and basically anyone, French speaking or non-French speaking, can come and we do a host of different French themed activities like games, music, and lots of food. Yeah. Basically that's it. Okay. Uh, it's a really fun time, and it's a really good way to explore different cultures in the Francophone world. What do you have for food tonight? What are you offering? We have the lamb lavron. Okay. A Moroccan lentil soup. Really nice. And a plum sauté. Okay. A pie paired with French cookies, French baguette, and three different types of French cheeses. Very good. Three camembert and chef goat cheese. My name is Laura Tice. I am the advisor to the Ambassadors Club here at Hopkinson High School. We developed and implemented the Ambassadors Club to help our international students, our exchange students every year, better integrate into the school, make more connections, make more friends, do more fun events, go to Hopkinton High School events, uh, and just really have a, a better connection to people while they're here. Because they've always come here and had a great education. Our teachers are fabulous. But this also provides them the opportunity to make lifelong friendships. So as you could see, uh, there are so many kids here that are having a great time. And just like Mr. Hanna said, it's a, it's a great way to, to make connections across boundaries, across borders, and across countries. I'm from I'm Italian and on international night we uh, we did these posters basically this is like a game true and false um, and it's gonna be so fun because uh, when we came here we saw that lots of Americans don't really know uh, these things and oh and we made lots of posters right here about Italian gestures when we are explaining the meaning of our gesture and it's gonna be so fun and we also have like lots of food, tiramisu, pizza, pasta. So yeah, I'm so excited. How do you say? Okay, slow. Oh, una, una, Hi, I'm Isabella Kowalska, and I'm from Poland. I'm representing Poland, and today I I made Polish apple cake called jabłeczny which is basically, um, it's a mix between apple pie and apple crisp and it's really good. Hi, my name is Yifan, I'm from China and today we cook the fried rice, sticky rice and some candy and yeah, today we will, we will present our country and we will have a song. We will perform a song. Yeah. And that's my favorite food. Oh, yeah. How do you say uh, what's your name? Kumi, 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 Bien d'années à ce que tu as étudié à la française. Tu as étudié à la française. Six ans. 
6 ans. Mais je ne peux, je ne suis pas euh, tant plus loin. Ouais. Aussi. Quand, aussi. Aussi. Ouais. Plus loin qu'en euh, espagnol. En espagnol. Ouais. Oui, je parle espagnol. Would you like to try one of these? These are the ingredients here. Please. Hello, I'm Glam, the international student from Thailand, and today I'm representing my country, Thailand. Uh, I brought like some fabric from Thailand too, and some handmade fan. <laughs> and also, I brought some food, which is uh, the beef jerky and sticky rice. And the dessert gonna be litchi. Yeah, I'm very, very excited for this event tonight and I hope to talk to everybody, like, <laughs> come visit us here in Thailand too.
I'm from New Milan. <laughs> I, I am Riccardo and I'm from a little village in the north of Italy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alessandra, I'm from Rome, Italy. So 
Rhine in Europe, and it's surrounded by Germany and Ukraine. It's near also Russia. Um, the second fact is that we have world's largest castle, and it's actually near me. I live up north, um, and this castle is the biggest in the world by area. And it was um, built in medieval times. Um, Poland is also the biggest distributor of amber, and amber comes from my city, which is Gdańsk. And it's near the Baltic Sea, and it's really gorgeous. I love my city. Um, so another big city is Krakow, and it is in um, south of Poland, and it is also on the list of UNESCO heritage sites. Um, our capital is Warsaw, and during World War II, it was completely destroyed. And Polish people rebuilt it, um, and they rebuilt the old town, but also created a more modern buildings, like skyscrapers. Um, we have also the oldest um, restaurant in Europe, which was created in um, 12th century, and it's still and it's still oh, and it is still open. So Polish food. This is Polish donuts. We have a holiday. Um, it is a week before Lent called Fat Thursday, and Polish people um, usually like. Last year, um, they consumed over like one million of those. <laughs> and it's crazy. Like, like it's the biggest cheat day in Poland. <laughs> of course, we are obsessed with our pierogies. We love them. Um, so basically, if you don't know what pierogies are, they are dumplings filled with sometimes sour, sometimes sweet filling. Um, it usually is filled with potato and cheese. Um, so our most common like fast food on like street food is called zapikanki, which is like open faced sandwich and it's usually a baguette, and on top we put mushrooms, um, and cheese, and we add ketchup. Um, and this is what I made. This is Polish apple cake, which is um, called jabłecznik. So we have a lot of festivals, and we love our festivals. We have the biggest um, open field festival, which used to be called Woodstock, but then it turned to like Paul um, Rock and Roll Festival. So Polish language is pretty hard. Like um, we have the same alphabet, but we have nine more letters, which are literally sounds like Russell. It's like if you hear a Polish person speaking, it's like a Russell. It's like <laughs> and you don't understand anything. So for example, like word princess, like in any kind of language, in any languages, it's like princess, princess. In Polish, it's Księżniczka. <laughs> what? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're complaining about your foreign language class. Thanks. Okay, so now we're going to go really far.
across, if I'm geographically correct, all the way to the lovely place of China.
so much, Ms. Uh, can we all please give now a warm welcome to Tyler. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Pham, or not so Kiseri, international student from Thailand. And today I'm going to present you with my country, Thailand. Let's talk about the fact of Thailand. Thailand, or the Kingdom of Thailand, is located in the Southeast Asia. And we are the member of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations of ASEAN. We have a constitutional monarchy with parliamentary democracy, also known as the, democrat the democratic form of government with the king as the head of the state. Our capital city is Bangkok, and we have a population of 50 million, and over 10 million live in Bangkok. We use a Thai baht currency, and the approximate exchange is 30 Thai baht to one US dollar. So let's talk about some fun facts. <laughs> you guys might not realize that um, our country has the longest capital city name. Bangkok is only the English name, but the full name is, ready? กรุงเทพมหานครนครปัตตนโกสินทร์มหินทราอยุธยามหาดีลพระโคตรพระราชกาลบุรีโรงอุดมราชนิเวศมหาสถานมอญพิมานอวตารสถิตสัมปทัต
country? Okay, so instead of directly telling you the name of the country, we're going to tell you a joke. So, how many trees are in the Amazonian rainforest? A Brazilian! Traditional Christmas trees, they came from Germany. 
Um, the university, if you want to go to the university, it's free for everybody, so you can go and you don't have to pay. Um, over 100 Germans have been awarded for the Nobel Prize, in, including Albert Einstein. Um, over 800 million curveballs are eaten in Germany each year. So you can see your people eat a lot of sausages. <laughs> um, we don't have to speed them on the sideways in the cars. Right, as far as they ever want. Um, if you want to buy something, you can buy it on Sunday because every, everything's closed. Grocery store, small, everything's closed. Um, the hamburger um, is from Germany, um, and most of the fairy tales are in Germany, like for example, Rumpel Seelskin or Snow White. And I need three volunteers. Um, <laughs> Wait, so we have a few of the hardest German words. And the first one, it's, it's, a, it's a bread roll. Um, and it's called Brötchen. And for the most of American people, it's really hard to pronounce it. Do you want to try it? Um. <laughs>
applause, so feel free to stick around. Thank you.